We good? All right. Now, the idea is this. A color imager has a little thing called a cuvette. You do a reaction inside the cuvette where you have something that has a color. The color imager has a light and it passes through the cuvette to a detector. As the thing inside here gets darker, less and less light gets to the detector. And we can measure that and we can tell how far the reaction has gone. There's two measurements you can make. One is called percent transmittance. It's really simple. If you put something clear in here, you tell the machine, this is 100% transmittance. This is all the light you're ever going to get. If you put something completely dark in there, no light gets through. That's 0% transmittance. Okay? I mean, does that make sense? So percent transmittance gets lower as the solution gets darker. And there's this other thing called absorbance. Absorbance is how much light is absorbed. So when it's clear, no light is absorbed, absorbance is zero. When it's completely dark, all of the light is absorbed and the absorbance is high. Now notice I didn't say the absorbance was 100% because the, the uh, equation for absorbance is a logarithmic equation. So it doesn't work like that. It doesn't go zero to 100. That doesn't matter for you guys. All that matters for you guys is this. Absorbance is directly proportional to concentration. And I'll prove that to you here in just a moment. I'll just let the machine prove it for me. But basically, the deal is that if you have a concentration of one with a certain absorbance, then a concentration of two will have twice that absorbance, and a concentration of three will have three times that absorbance. You apply it on a line, and then if you measure the absorbance anywhere, like say right here, then you go down and you know what the concentration is. So this is a really simple way to figure out how colored reactions work and how fast they are. Okay? So far so good? Alright, so let's try this. I'll show you how it works. I need to bring this down. Now, let's pan this down so we can see the colorimeter and how this actually works. Okay, colorimeter has these buttons. It's got an on-off, which is, I think, pretty self-explanatory. Then it's got a wheel on the side, and the wheel on the side changes the color of the light. Now, at some point, you might have taken art, and if you took art, you might have learned about the color wheel, right? Well, the color wheel is what we use in chemistry to figure out what color of light do we need to shoot through this solution to see how, how fast the solution goes. If the solution is reddish, then we need to shoot the complementary color of red through the cuvette. The complementary color, the one that's on the opposite side of the color wheel, is blue. Okay? So I just rotate the wheel until I have blue, and I do. I have it right down there. Now, use a cuvette. Now notice this cuvette is not exactly clear. Okay? But that doesn't matter because you tell the machine what clear is. Right? So the way I do that dilution, and I put inside the cuvette, slot it into the colorimeter, and I hit R for reference. And it tells me the absorbance is zero. Okay? So I've told the machine, this is clear. Then I take that away, and I put a little bit of the solution that I'm interested in in there. Okay, definitely not clear. Slot that in the colorimeter. Hit T for test. It says the absorbance is 2.0. Actually, it's flashing like that. It's telling me, hell, I'm sorry, but I can't read that because it's too dark. Is what it's really telling me. So let's help it out. If we take what? 
about half of that. And we set it aside and we replace it with clear water. Wouldn't that tend to make it a little lighter? Plop that what would that there. affect the result? Right, but I'm just demonstrating how the colorimeter works. Okay. okay, so the colorimeter gives me an absorbance of 1.37. Write that down. 1.37. Because I'm going to prove to you that this works. Okay, now. Now, if I take about half of this again and I replace that with water again and if absorbance really is proportional to concentration then what absorbance should I get here? Half of it. Half of that, right? So approximately 0.65. It all depends on how good I am with a barrel pipette actually. I'm not really hot with the barrel pipette, but not too bad, okay? So 0.78 is not half of 1.37, but you get the general idea. That the lighter it gets, the less you, absorbance you have. Yeah? That makes sense? Okay. Now, that's only the beginning. Because not only will this machine tell you what the absorbance is, it will tell you what the absorbance is over time. Ooh. Okay, so we need to zero it out again. Okay, that's zero. Then we dump that in there. Then we put, what was it? that much and so I'm going to do about that much and then about that much and I strongly suggest that you guys are a little more precise because I'm doing chemistry now the way I cook which is about this much, about that much, about this much. I hit this thing right here, which is a graph with a curve on it. Oh, okay. I thought it was... And no. now what it will do when I hit this button is it will begin to take absorbances every second. Okay? And so if you, especially if you have somebody calling them out to you, you can write them down as you go. All right? Ready? I hit T. Get the first one. Push it in there. That's as far as it goes. Okay? You get the idea? All right. And I can, in a moment, show you an even better way of doing that. We good? You get the general idea? Okay. Fantastic.